So the Oppo Find X6 Pro is finally here. And while it remains a China exclusive for the time being, this is Oppo's best flagship ever made and may very well be the best smartphone that I have ever had the privilege of testing. Oppo have done something insane with their cameras this time around with three 50 megapixel sensors, including an ultra wide camera, a one inch type sensor main camera, and the largest periscope sensor ever seen on a smartphone. They have left nothing out the box for this guy. You get a premium leather feeling hard shell case, a charging cable and a 100 watt charging brick. This is Technic and this is my full review of Oppo's best flagship ever, the Oppo Find X6 Pro. As mentioned at the start, it's still uncertain whether or not the Find X6 Pro will make its way to the international markets, but it literally just got announced in China, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. I received the phone quite early on, so I'm not quite sure on pricing yet, but make sure you check the comment section down below as I'll post the Chinese prices over there. But if it does come to the global market, you can expect it to be a little bit more expensive than domestic pricing. The device has a refreshed design this year with a massive circular camera module, largely inspired by DSLR camera lenses and luxury watches. The camera module has a stunning dual tone finish with all the necessary branding. And the lens cover is made of high strength glass and aluminum, which is both drop and corrosion resistant. Not to mention there is also a stainless steel ring wrapping around the module. The empty space next to the Periscope sensor is needed since it's used to house the rest of the world's largest periscope lens. And the phone comes in three different color options. You can pick it up in the green color that I have or in black, both of which are made from anti-glare glass with Gorilla Glass 5 protection on their backs. But if you would prefer a more classical look, there's always the brown color variant, which is made up of vegan leather and metal-like glass materials. It's also the only one with the signature Hasselblad orange dot at the bottom of its camera ring. However, the brown variant is slightly thicker and heavier than the other all glass color versions. Otherwise, everything else is the same. All three colors have aluminum frames. They are all IP68 dust and water resistant, and they all have Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection on their front panels. The Oppo Find X6 Pro also features a new larger display this time. It's a 6.82 inch 1 to 120 hertz LTPO 3.0 AMOLED display with a pixel popping QHD plus resolution that packs in 510 pixels per inch. It's a 10 bit billion color bionic display that supports Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10 Plus and Widevine R1. It also packs in a 240Hz touch sampling rate, 1440Hz PWM dimming, and most importantly, packs in a peak brightness of 2500 nits, which makes it the brightest smartphone screen on the planet. When it comes to software, the Find X6 Pro makes use of ColorOS 13.1 skinned over Android 13. Be sure to check my ColorOS 13 software review video out after this to find out why it's my favorite Android skin around. It's simple yet feature packed with things such as large folders and looks stunning all around. Oppo have also promised four years of major Android software updates and five years of security updates, which isn't something you usually see from an Oppo device. So this is awesome to hear. And to keep things running is a large 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is optimized by Oppo's battery health engine for 1,600 charge and discharge cycles, which means that the battery will still have 80% battery health after four years of use. Oppo have also increased wide charging speeds this year, bringing it up up to 100 watts, which can apparently fill up its large battery in just 30 minutes. Not to mention we still have 50 watt wireless charging, which can get your phone to 100% in just 51 minutes. The Find X6 Pro also features a newly redesigned cooling system with a 24% larger vapor chamber over its predecessor, as well as a new generation graphite material to improve heat dissipation efficiency by 84%. This cooling system keeps things at bay when running demanding apps or benchmarks, so it's no surprise to see the Find X6 Pro top the charts in Antutu, as well as receive heavy hitting scores in other benchmarks, since it houses Qualcomm's latest 4nm TSMC powered Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. 
up to 16 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM with an option for additional 8 gigs of RAM expansion and up to 512 gigs of UFS 4.0 storage. You would think with all these specs, the Find X6 Pro would be able to play games at 120 hertz refresh rates, but unfortunately in some games, such as Real Racing 3, the device caps the frame rate to 60 FPS, even though it's more than capable of reaching such high frame rates. The good news is that when playing Call of Duty Mobile, it can achieve a stable frame rate of 90 FPS, which other devices seem to cap at 60. And when playing more demanding games such as Genshin Impact, you'll be happy to hear that we got a stable 60 FPS thanks to the Hyper Boost Gaming Engine and Ultra Steady Frames feature. It's worth mentioning that this game is capped at 60 FPS on all devices, regardless of the screen refresh rate. This Oppo flagship also takes advantage of Bluetooth 5.3, NFC, 5G and Wi-Fi 7 to ensure you are always connected to the world. Not to mention it also packs in a USB 3.1 Type-C port, an IR blaster, an X-axis linear motor and O haptics for an immersive flagship level haptic feedback experience as well as dual stereo speakers, one at the bottom, one at the top which both support Dolby Atmos. So the Oppo Find X6 Pro is phenomenal when it comes to benchmarks and gaming, but honestly those are all just extras since this device is all about those cameras. So let's get started with selfie camera performance. The Find X6 Pro has a punch hole notch, this time at the top center of its screen, which utilizes the same selfie camera as its predecessor. And even though it still uses the same sensor, it benefits from more advanced processing features thanks to the new Qualcomm chipset as well as next gen image processing architecture powered by Oppo's own made Marisilicon X Imaging NPU. So shots come out filled with detail, fantastic color accuracy and superb edge detection when in daylight. What's up guys, this is Technic recording a 1080p 30fps bokeh video on the brand new Oppo Find X6 Pro. You can switch from 0.8x up to 1x and all the way up to 2x. And here is regular selfie video where once again you can go from 0.8x to 1x to 2x and all the way back to 0.8x. Let me know your thoughts on the audio as well as the video quality when using the selfie cam on the brand new Oppo Find X6 Pro. It's great to see that you can seamlessly zoom in and out when recording using the selfie cam, but for such an insane flagship camera phone, you would expect to get higher than just 1080p 30fps selfie video recording. Selfies come out okay at night, they still look decent at times but tend to suffer from a washed out look which lacks in detail and has questionable edge detection at times when taking pics at night. Selfies on Oppo's latest flagship come out great in daylight situations and decent in low light situations, but I'm not gonna lie, the Oppo Find X6 Pro's greatest weakness is likely its selfie camera performance. That being said, most Chinese made Android smartphones suffer from the same issue. They have incredible back camera sensors, but when it comes to selfie, photo and video performance, they are on a mid-range level. Not to mention that 1080p video on the selfie camera on a flagship device is just not okay. That being said, the main camera sensors on the back of this guy not only mean that Oppo have outdone themselves here, but they have actually set a new standard for flagship smartphone cameras because this thing has seriously outdone itself. It has a triple 50 megapixel setup which consists of two Sony IMX 890 sensors for the 15mm f2.2 ultrawide camera and 65mm f2.6 telephoto periscope camera. Both have a 1 in 1.56 inch sensor size, making the Find X6 Pro's periscope sensor the largest smartphone periscope sensor in the world. And the periscope and main cameras both have optical image stabilization. The main sensor has an equivalent focal length of 23 millimeters. It has an aperture of f1.8 and is a massive one inch type sensor, thanks to it being the Sony IMX 989 sensor. Oppo has explained this triple camera system as the three main camera era, since all three sensors benefit from the Hasselblad partnership, Marisilicon X imaging NPU and Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU which allows them to all deliver the same level of image clarity, light and shadow handling and color accuracy. The Oppo Find X6 Pro takes incredible shots with its ultra wide camera whether being in macro mode, high res 50 megapixel mode or binned 12.5 megapixel mode. 
The main sensor has slightly better color accuracy, but matches the ultra wide on detail, exposure and dynamic range, and its two times lossless zoom looks just as sharp as the Periscope's three times optical zoom. Not to mention the six times hybrid zoom option is unreal. And even at 10 times digital zoom, things still look insanely detailed. There is a slight dip in quality when you reach 30 times digital zoom, but it still looks better than any other phone out there at this level. And it's crazy how even at 60 or 120 times zoom levels, you can still make out exactly what's going on. Using the Periscope with a 25 millimeter focusing distance, DSLR quality kicks in. And of course, we still have Hasselblad X-Pan modes, which make for some fun snaps. You can of course take portrait shots at 1x with the main camera thanks to that massive sensor size and Oppo did tell me that they plan to bring two times lossless zoom portraits as well in a future software update. But portraits come out the best when using the periscope sensor at three times optical zoom which also has different Hasselblad Pro modes that make for some interesting filters. There is also an option for portrait video when using the periscope camera at three times zoom, but it's capped at 1080p 30fps and you can also shoot the same 1080p portrait video using the main camera. You can also use the main camera to record 10 bit HDR 4K 30fps Dolby Vision video, not to mention you can seamlessly switch between all three cameras when recording continuous 4K 30fps video from the ultra wide to the main to the periscope all the way up to 18 times digital zoom. You can also record ultra wide video at a max resolution and frame rate of 4K 60 FPS. It looks fantastic and is very stable, but if you want to go all out stable, there is also an ultra steady pro mode, which is insane even when running. There's also an ultra steady mode, which uses the main camera and both modes are capped at 1080p 60 FPS. And of course, you can also use the main camera to record 4K 60 FPS video, but unfortunately there is no option for 8K video. I was surprised not to see a 4K night video mode option, but recording 4K 30 FPS main video or ultra wide video at night still looks amazing. But there is a night mode option for photos, which span from ultra wide all the way up to 120 times zoom, and they all look just as good as when I took the same shots during the day. This camera system is extraordinary. That 25 millimeter minimum focusing distance on the periscope does wonders at night too, and portrait shots on the main and periscope sensors come out very good in terms of detail, color accuracy, and perfect edge detection, even at night. I guess it's safe to say that the Oppo Find X6 Pro is the king of all smartphone cameras when it comes to results from those back sensors in all lighting conditions. And if that was the only thing going for it, you would still more than get what you're paying for. But this thing has so much more going for it and checks almost all the right boxes for a 2023 flagship. I just really hope that it makes its way to the global markets so that you can test out this incredible piece of tech. Let me know your thoughts on Oppo's latest flagship in the comment section down below. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.